Yo, what is up guys? This is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and yes, I did order the Redmi Note 7 Pro. It is coming, it is still shipping. So maybe I can make a video on Redmi Note 7 Pro tomorrow. But until that happens, I'll just review this dot OS 11th March 2019 built for Redmi Note 5 Pro. So here to the left, we have the Google Now cards and this is the quick step launcher, I guess as the stock launcher over here let me just go into the settings so as you can see it is not the launcher launcher and here we will find the gestures option and double tap to sleep on the home screen is there and it is working fine so this is a pretty good feature and you can just set the double tap gesture to flashlight or google search and you can swipe down anywhere on the home screen to get to the quick settings panel as you can see and you can change the quick setting toggle styles to over here and I did change it and let me just go into the launcher settings again and inside recent you have some kind of customizations and this is like rounded corners kind of things and you can customize the app drawer or icons like the icon pack or icon shape you can change it and you can even change the home screen stuff like the display google app so search bar and stuff like that you can just customize them and you can even customize the column and row numbers so that is pretty cool in my opinion and everything is smooth, everything is working super fine. Let me just show you the about section quickly over here. And by the way, the dot ways definitely gives a different kind of feel in the like settings panel over here. This is not the stock Android-ish look. And as you can see over here, the settings logo looks like kind of bold Roboto font. And over here, as you can see, it shows your profile name or something like that, but it does not do anything if you click there. And over here, as you can see, the settings panel looks a little bit different from stock Android Pie. And let me just go into the about section and if I tap on Android version and over here as you can see it shows Droid on time or dot OS logo up top and dot OS version 3 official and Android version Pi of course as you can see let me just go back and the security patch level is March 5th 2019 so the latest one here is the stock kernel version still based on dark plus kernel and build number and stuff is there dot OS version is there version 3 of course and these are the stuff that I wanted to show you and if I go into the system you will find the system updater over here and as you can see whenever there is a new update you can check for updates over here as of now there are no new updates so that is how it is and the OT update does work over here I guess and if I just go into security and smart lock and from here as you can see we have trusted face and the face unlock over here does work super fine so you don't need to worry at all regarding face unlock if you want to flash this rom just for face unlock you can definitely do that now in terms of the customizations well there are plenty let me go into the display settings first because there are some kind of like ui customization present over here we have the double tap to wake and double tap to sleep on the status bar and stuff is there and over here we have this allow system themes and fonts for substratum i guess so the substratum if you use substratum you can use these features over here and inside UI theme we have light dark black and dot OS neo UI style and inside accent colors we have these many options for like choosing from accent colors and you can even change the quick toggle styles to over here as you can see we have plenty of options for the quick toggle styles pretty cool features and let me just show you some more stuff like the auto brightness and stuff this works fine night light works fine too and over here let me just go back inside dot extras we have all the customizations and inside status bar we have this kind of like normal stuff like the status bar uh, double tap to sleep and wake up on charge you can disable them 4g icon vaulty icon is there i think you can see it from here the vaulty icon looks pretty cool over here and vaulty on both the sims works fine even like dual vaulty works and if you want to know about the like in call ui well in call ui does have the call recording option and video call does work too over 4g so that is pretty cool and you can change the clock setting you can like disable the traffic indicator if you want to stress bar items is there headset bluetooth etc icons is there but one feature that i miss over here is that like the status bar brightness adjustment it is still not present over here in dot ways so that is how it is i like that feature but yeah i definitely miss that feature in this rom that the status bar brightness feature adjustment feature is not there and inside lock screen and stuff we have the lock screen charging info double tap to sleep and always unlock with fingerprint scanner is there so this is definitely a lot like better feature in my opinion some roms does not have it so that is how it is but over here inside customizations of this dot extras if you just go inside one customization and if you tap like this back button it will go all the way back to the settings so this is kind of something which i hate 
and you have to just go back from here then only you can just go back on the menu or the customization menu so that is how it is and we even have the button customization and stuff advanced reboot option on both lock screen and normally is there and inside general tweaks we have the swipe to take screenshot feature and stuff battery charging light you can enable it and what else should i show you i don't know let me just check if i'm missing something inside nav bar we have these kind of like navigation bar features but i don't think there are navigation gestures in this rom navigation mode we have smart bar fling you can change it and you can even change the like layout to invert it so these kind of features are there but i, I don't think there are any like the gestures the full screen gestures over here are simply not present and over here let me open some of the apps and show you guys the app open up speeds and ram management let's open file manager now facebook and twitter so as you can see the animation over here does work with the like android pi kind of animation does work and it is set to 1x by default so just normal stock android animation not like Re liquid remix rom just letting you guys know so i have opened couple of apps and let me just go home let's open all the apps from memory again So as you can see all the apps are like in memory so no issues whatsoever this is a 4GB RAM variant again as you guys know I am using the 4GB RAM variant of the Redmi Note 5 Pro and the RAM management over here is fine and you can switch between apps just like this as you can see it's pretty fast over here no issues whatsoever this kind like the RAM management over here is pretty good and even the UI like just pretty smooth over here no issues whatsoever. The stock camera over here is the Mi 2's camera of course and portrait mode and stuff in the Mi 2's camera does work over here as you can see you can even shoot 4k 30fps videos but let me tell you that uh, the camera to API is present over here and you can install like any kind of pixel 3 camera if we want and the latest pixel 3 cameras are a little bit buggy some are taking like greenish pictures so if you want to like get the stable version or like the version i use mostly on the redmi note 5 pro you can check it out from the description box below so this is the version i use and with this the portrait mode and video and stuff everything works no issues whatsoever and this is the indian variant of redmi note 5 pro not the ai version so in the ai version the front camera still may not work so just letting you guys know and in terms of like the sound settings let me show you the sound settings quickly over here and here you can disable the screen locking sound charging sound charging vibration screenshot sound etc but here we do not have the me audio direct but we do have this equalizer over here and this equalizer is not that great in my opinion like it's not up to the mark with the me audio direct does not like provide that much of a great quality of sound but yeah it's like better than having nothing so that is how it is but i, I would love to see like me audio direct in the future in dot ways and the gaming performance and stuff is pretty fine over here no issues whatsoever and everything works over here pubg you can play pubg at hd and high settings no issues like it's pretty normal with other roms and the battery life here are the screenshots if you want to see the battery life over here and as you can see i'm getting around seven to seven and a half hours of screen on time over here so that is how it is and again the most amazing feature of this rom in my opinion is the boot animation well the boot animation looks amazing over here and it is look like it does look kind of different to me at least so let me know in the comments what do you guys think if you want to flash it just like check out the description box below for the links like the important links and as this is an official rom so the google pay just works flawlessly over here you don't need to do any kind of tweaks and let me just double tap to sleep like use the double tap to sleep and let me show you the finger scanner speed over here and as you can see the speed is pretty fast over here no issues whatsoever so that is pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching this video give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet and this is Tito from KDN Tech signing off i'll catch you guys in the like redmi note 7 pro video bye bye now